start Friday wine time with a little bit of music. <laughs> oh, lovely, lovely. It's music for the soul. Um, this is just bought from the great antiques market on behalf of my friend. From that sort of music, I don't know if he's going to like it or not. Okay, on to wine. Um, so, again, this week, starting... From a very fresh perspective towards white and red, um, let's not think of it too traditionally. So, um, to get out of that traditional mould straight away, we're going to start with an um, Albarino with a little bit of age on it, which is becoming far more trendy to drink like very this trendy. Than, um, than new, very sort of crisp Albarinos, which are also great. But I think keep an open mind. Start trying some Albarinos that have maybe had some oak or that have a little bit of age them because they really creamify and, they, and they've got that richness to them which is just great. We need the music to come on automatically while we're gargling and spitting really, don't we? <laughs> um, so, this is really good. It's very from rich. Valle del Amor um, in Galicia, so Valley of Love. Yeah. We're yeah. feeling lots of love today. Um, it is from Riesch Bashas. Um, and, and it's lovely, come in and try. And it's only £10. Pounds. Only £10. Pounds. Bargain. It's a bargain, it's so cheap. It's a steal. Steal. Okay, next one. Now, this is a very funny wine. Um, we've had lots of different opinions on it. None bad, but it can be a bit of a weird wine. It's an oak aged, raisined Garganega from Bento. Um, and it's, it's viscous. I think it smells like elderflower. I think it smells like cedar and honey and... It is a weird one. It's got a waxiness to it as well. And it's good with really weird food. What did we just have? Um, sweet potato and chilli and coconut soup. And yeah. it's so I would say, if you're cooking a weird meal and you don't know what flavours would go with it, try this. Mm. Okay. I love this. It's just so fragrant in your mouth. It's so, so long. It just carries on and on and on. I think the danger with it is if you let it warm up, it takes on a, a slight sort of sweetness, um, not, a real, not a real chemical sweetness, um, but that associative goopiness. Um, but cold is fantastic. Perfect. Okay, on to the red. We have a Montepulciano di Abruzzo from the village Frentana, which is... Um, just right in the middle of the wine producing area in Abruzzo. Um, and again, it's simply, it's, I think it's only 750 which is an amazing price for it. Look at oh, how much is the Tory? 13 pounds, I think? 16. 16. 16. 15. <laughs> 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 so close! <laughs> wow, look at that colour, Liv. Oh, wow. That's so rich. I hope Black cherries. Good. And it smells like it as well, those oh, tinned wow. black cherries yeah. that you get. Farmer sausage, no. 
I don't know, those really rustic sausages with the really big chunks of meat in them. I think that would go really well. It's got lots of structure, mm. but loads of fruit. Again, quite cher- cherry on the nose. Mmm, lovely. Should we have some more music to finish? Okay. <laughs> yeah, that sounds great. Oh, that's just, I'm getting oh. very excited about this. I don't know how 